I feel terrible today. Let me scooch in closer to you. So if you watched my last video, you might have noticed that I mentioned being super busy uh, over the past weekend. Um, and most of that was eating food. I'm not gonna lie. So I've eaten a lot more junk food in the past, I don't know, five days than I ordinarily would. And I'm not superhuman, it's, it's catching up to me now, right? So I'm just drinking plenty of fluids. I'm gonna maybe eat like two salads all day. Detox, right? But that does not mean it's gonna be a dull video, I promise. There's gonna be plenty of eating to be seen later on in the video. I put up the time there that the eating starts. If you're one of these impatient people, um, but it's been a while since I opened any packages or read out some funny YouTube comments, so I'm gonna do that first. Okay, this first one is from Huangma Road in China. Whenever I say China, it reminds me of Donald Trump. <laughs> I don't know why. Ah. These are some glasses. I don't need to wear glasses, but these are some glasses from a company called. Oh, that stuck to me. From a company called Fermu. I think that's how you say it. Um, and they sell glasses online, right? And they just keep sending me free glasses. These are pretty. Uh, if you can see that, they're like hot pink, which is pretty funky. Two tone. Uh, I'll put a link to their uh, details in the description box because if you use a certain code you can get buy one get one free on glasses if you need them for corrective purposes and not just to look like an idiot like me. I don't know man. They're pretty cool glasses though so if you wear them check them out for moo.com. Next we've got a slightly bigger package. <laughs> H3DP. Ah, this must be a printing company. Think it, we'll print it. Slightly optimistic with the shirt size though, this is a large. And I'm like, barely a medium. Ah, more stuff from this company. Well, you can never have too many hoodies. That's what I say. Good old fashioned bribery. That's what people resort to these days. I'm not complaining though. Maybe I'll feed those to my girlfriend. Straight sugar. We also got Twix fingers. Not a big fan of Twix, not gonna lie, but I'll find a use for them. And this is more like it. Mr. Kipling chocolate slices. This came with a letter. Dear Beard, Brackets Adam. Great to meet you last month. I've actually met this person apparently. Hello again, if you're watching. <laughs> uh, and thanks for talking, uh, thanks for taking the time to talk to me on Twitter. I really appreciate it. I am a big fan of your channel and the content that you create. So I thought I would send you some of our snapbacks, a t-shirt and a hoodie, just because you are awesome. I hope that you enjoy this stuff. Who's good? <laughs> uh, this is from a company called Hawk 3D Proto. 3D printing company, that's cool. Maybe they could like 3D print me 200 sushi rolls, because that's what I want to do next, but can't find any way to get it that cheap. All right, that was a pretty short mail opening segment, but moving on to the fun stuff now. Time to get comfortable. Right, all these comments are from the, um, the Costco, what did I call it? The Costco, Ultimate Costco Banquet Challenge, that was it. Um, so, let's get into it. <laughs> I'm gonna start with a positive one here. Beard, you're like the best competitive eating YouTuber ever. Four exclamation marks. I appreciate the compliment, I don't think that's factually accurate, but thank you very much. How come you don't drive? Am I missing something? Yeah, a bunch of my earlier videos where I explained. <laughs> um, no, actually a lot of people have asked me this recently, so it's probably worth just 
explaining real quick. Um, I had two unexplained blackouts last year. I just totally lost consciousness for like five seconds, nothing serious. Uh, but when that happens, um, especially when they can't figure out why, um, despite numerous tests, you can't drive, right? Because I don't want to be driving um, down the motorway one day and just like pass out and crash into, you know, 20 people and kill some fools. So um, just for safety's sake, really. Those wings aren't clean. Yep, they're pretty clean. There might be like some cartilage hanging off there, but... Lots of people on this thread think they're pro wing eaters. You should not hold poos in. It causes problems in later life. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> Why are you eating yourself to death? Clean those wings. Shave your beard at 100,000 subs. You need to make your videos shorter. I love the Iron Maiden in the background, beard. Rock on. There is no Iron Maiden in the background of my videos. <laughs> I like I made though, so. When do you aim to hit 100,000 subscribers by? Any plans when you do? <laughs> oh boy, have I got plans. Secret though. And in terms of when I aim to hit that, I don't know. Um, it'll probably be, fingers crossed, mid-August. Why are you claiming 17,000 grams of sodium? Am I claiming it though, or engage common sense mode? Do you think I missed an M? I think maybe it's like a typo and it's supposed to say 17,000 milligrams. Yeah, probably. Right, that's all I can stand. I can't stand no more. I'm just gonna try to relax for the rest of the day now. But, don't go anywhere. I've got some kick-ass eating for you guys. Just gotta rewind things to yesterday. <laughs> on me, I'm back. Um, if you follow my vlog series, I was here a couple of weeks ago for the grand opening. I'm at Holy Moly's Deep South Kitchen in Yeadham, which is close to Leeds, uh, but they've also got another site in York. Um, and today I'm taking on an undefeated eating challenge. And not only that, if I can get this thing down in 45 minutes, I win 100 British pounds, which will come in handy because I need to get my beard trimmed. <laughs> Jokes. This thing is eight pounds of meat, pretty much. Uh, it's got ribs, two pork chops, chorizo sausage, uh, I don't even know what this is, bacon, onions, mash, ham hock, barbecue beans with more ham hock for some reason, and uh, gravy. Plus a little bit of green stuff there, but we're not gonna count that. Uh, you get 45 minutes to finish this. Nobody has done it yet. All right, so without further ado, this is Bear Meat's food, and this is just a Big pile of meat. Okay, we're gonna start the timer. And we're underway. We'll start with this big bowl of beans. I'm gonna go with the mash next because mash is always gross when it gets cold. I just realized this thing is on paper and I'm just eating a piece of paper. Delicious. Next we've got the pork chop. I've got a technique down now.
stuck on the pork chop. I'm gonna try some of this gravy. It's really nice and thick. Chewy. Can't break it down. It's delicious, boy. Hard on your jaw. <laughs> the caramelized onion has like a slight apple taste to it, which is really, really nice. Ah, I'm not sure what time I'm on, but I think I'm doing okay. Bones, people. These are bones, yeah? That's clean. time that was but it's definitely under 45 minutes <coughs> the first thing I'm gonna buy with my 100 pounds prize money is dessert because <coughs> that was really meaty really solid delicious but now I want something sweet anyway, I thought it would be kind of quiet oh, this is a bit of hate this is the part you guys love I gotta tell you what, it's like